It all started at a Texas Ren Fair this year. My wife, who is bisexual, and I always knew that. We like to go to the Ren Fair and check out the ladies there. We make comments and stuff like that. Just looking. While there this year, she mentioned how much she'd like another woman to join us in bed and play around to explore her by side. And for me, that's fine, right? Every guy's dream, right? Welcome to the Hallid Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, male 32, my wife 31, wants to swing and it's crushed my self-esteem and self-worth. I need advice, please. Can someone help? But before embarking on the expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. Many men have two women at one time fantasies or having a hot bi wife. However, eight out of 10 times, it doesn't end well for you. If you are the kind of guy who has a tough time setting boundaries, or your woman deliberately knows how to emasculate you, then you need to watch this video. As for the rest of the brotherhood, learn from this brother's issues and don't accept being treated like this. This post will be long. I only hope and pray that someone takes the time to read it because I'm drowning and I spiraling downward rapidly. This is a plea for advice and help. Well, brother, this is why my channel is here. It all started at a Texas Ren Fair this year. My wife is bisexual, and I've always known that. We like to go to Ren Fairs and check out the ladies there. We make comments, stuff like that. Just looking. While there this year, she mentioned how much she'd like another woman to join us in bed and play around to explore her by side. And for me, that's fine, right? Every guy's dream, right? Getting to mess around with two ladies at once sounds like an amazingly fun time. And I was super excited. Then the conversation quickly turned into full swinging. She mentioned how much she wanted to have S-word fun with other men. And this, this crushed my entire soul. Okay, first off, in the interests of full disclosure, I did the swing thing in the 1990s, and I even wrote a few articles for a swinger magazine back then called Odyssey Magazine. Personally, I have nothing against it. However, where I am now in my life, I also see the precursors, problems, lies, and delusions it also can bring and come with it in your relationship. For a significant number of couples, it will end in you swinging by the divorce attorney's office. Next, dude, you allowed yourself to be manipulated. Now, in your defense, damn, she's good. Here is what she did to you. By positioning her desires for a three-way as something reasonable or even typical, every guy's dream, she sucked you in. Then she pulls a bait and switch or otherwise known as a reframe to, I want to bang other men too. And let's call it swinging. 
This is a crap test of the highest order. Oh, and by the way, she skillfully invalidated your discomfort all in a one, two, three combo only a UFC fighter could love. This creates a cognitive dissonance in you to set you up to feel guilty for not accepting her terms. For a bit of backstory, I grew up all wrong. I was small, scrawny, made fun of constantly, even by my own parents, and I always feel like I was never enough for anyone. I'm sorry, my brother, that you grew up this way. That is something that no one should go through. However, the reality is in life, I think everyone knows, this kind of crap happens. I always felt not good enough. No matter what I did, I was never enough, never manly enough, never big enough, never strong enough. I don't look like other men at all. For a reference, I'm 32 years old, I weigh 115 pounds, standing at 5'8". I am tiny. When I found my wife, I finally felt like the king for the first time in my life. I was finally enough. I finally became the man I always thought I could be. It was amazing. I felt strong, manly, bold. I finally made it to a place where I was all someone needed. That is all I've ever wanted. I, single person to love me and not desire anyone else because I was enough. Or so I thought. Look, cut the negative talk crap out right now. I get your childhood experiences of bullying have fostered a deep-seated sense of inadequacy, shaping your fragile self-concept, perhaps unreasonable standards of masculinity. You're 32 years old. You had no control over what was done to you as a child. And I hate that for you. However, you're an adult now. And going forward, you are accountable for your outcomes. So you need to decide right now if this is the time to cowboy up and change it. When she expressed her desire to smash with other men, it broke it all down again. The entire castle I had built as her husband king came crashing to the ground. Yes, because your castle was built on sand. Due to the fact you never had a proper masculine role model to kick you in the ass, build you up properly, then guide you on how to deal and face your demons. The traumas of your childhood can't be painted over and called good, and that is what you did. Now, I feel worthless again. I feel like I can't give her everything she wants. Like, I'm not good enough at S-word fun, so she needs to find it elsewhere. I feel worthless, unattractive, it's stupid. I feel guilty for being okay with women, but not men. My emotions are completely taking over. It's all I think about. It's all consuming. I'm drowning in a sea of self-hate. As I mentioned, I'm very small build for a man. All the guys she's pointing out that she'd like to swing with, all these huge, big, bulky men with all these giant muscles and crazy chest and abs, and then I look down self, tiny and worthless, pathetic body, and I just go, oh, I'm nothing like that. It destroyed me inside. I've changed everything about myself, my hair, my attitude. I'm working out every single day now. I've completely changed my diet into high protein, high calorie diet. I'm planning on getting tattoos, all of this so I can hope to become the type of man she is obviously attracted to. Normally, I would give you a slap to the back of the head for that. However, what you're doing is admirable. 
why you're doing it is the problem. So there it is, my problem, my issues. The only thing I can think about, it's all consuming, eating me away on the inside. Sometimes I feel as though I don't want to be on this earth anymore. I don't know what to do. Right. Here's what I see. Insecurity rooted in self-image. Your small physique and childhood experiences of bullying have fostered a deep-seated sense of inadequacy, shaping a fragile self-concept which you seem to measure against societal standards of masculinity. My brother, where your head is at, that is a lose-lose game. I'm also seeing dependency on validation. You appear to me to have built uh, a sense of self-worth largely on the perceived exclusivity of your marriage. Dude, your value is not determined by her loyalty. Your happiness is hinging upon being enough for your wife, which places you in a vulnerable, dependent position where any deviation in her interest shatters your self-worth. Frankly, guys, like you, women like her can see coming a mile away. Your childhood makes you perfect for the manipulative, self-centered, possibly even narcissistic woman who is looking for the guy she can settle with and manipulate for his resources. In other words, destroy your sense of self, keep you paying the bills, smash Chad, Tyrone, and Tiffany, while keeping you convinced it's a privilege to be her little bitch. I'm also seeing what some people would call emotional dysregulation, which means someone who has a difficulty re regulating their emotions. Your reaction to your wife's proposition says to me emotional dysregulation, which may or may not stem from a combination of anxious attachment and feelings of abandonment. Your all-consuming self-criticism screams, at least to me, depressive, self-defeating patterns, acerbated by your wife's knowingly, in my humble opinion, pushing those buttons. Here is my thoughts on what you should do. You need to find a male therapist. Not one of those blue-haired, bull-nose-wearing female empowerment propagandists who will socially condition you to continue hating your man bits. You have a lot of trauma and abuse to work through. At the same time, you need to get a personal trainer or back into the gym as you have been, or I would also suggest find a boxing gym or a martial arts studio and learn how to kick ass. There is positive, constructive emotions in motion. Once you've built up your body, mind, and spirit for the right reasons, you'll finally see your wife for who she really is. How much of an accomplished manipulator she is and that you can't stay in this marriage. I don't see you finding your purpose, embracing your classic stoicism or masculinity, and being the captain of your own fate as long as she is there to undermine your spiritual well-being. In the comments section below, give your thoughts, guys, share your story, or give your own advice on what I missed. If you are the 66.9% of men who find value in my channel and the 33.1% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from this channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at 
magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes or my postings, or subscribe to my Locals Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these if you're watching YouTube and enjoy another right now. Until next time.